Hey guys, it's Juliana Palencia, AKA Juju B. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my tips to wash your natural hair and reduce the amount of breakage to get the most amount of moisture. I haven't edited the video yet, so I don't know how many tips there are, but I'll put it right here. And I'd like to say thanks so much to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video. I'll be using their products and they are so affordable. You can check out the description box below for a list of all the Maui Moisture products used in this video. And let's get into it. So, as you guys can see, I cut my hair again from my last video. I've just been having a lot of fun with cuts and new shapes and everything so if you wonder why my hair looks different lengths in every other video that is why <laughs> so my very first tip is one of my favorite methods and this is the condition wash condition method and this is perfect for those times when my hair is starting out super dry <laughs> so how it works is you condition first before washing and then you just follow the regular routine of washing and conditioning and this helps to rehydrate your hair before you wash it and shampoo it so i'm using the maui moisture curl quench and coconut oil conditioner and this is helping to moisturize my hair this conditioner doesn't have a lot of slip so i'm using it to rehydrate my hair and to moisturize my hair and also to prep my hair a bit and get out any excessive mats or tangles because when I'm just finished protective styles, my hair can be super duper dry. And after weeks of protective styles, it can also be really tangled. So this is just like jumpstart to get your hair rehydrated and feeling healthy again. So tip number two is super simple and it's so effective at reducing tangles. And this is just shampooing my hair. And while I do it, I don't put my hair on top of my head. I don't just let my hair fly all over the place. I shampoo my roots and I hold the ends of whatever section that I am scrubbing the roots at. And this just really helps to reduce the tangles. As you can see, I hold it out instead of just letting my hair fly all over the place. And this way my fingers are just moving in between my hair instead of tangling up my hair. <laughs> My tip number three is essential in every single wash day, and this is cleansing not only my roots and scalp, but also the length of my hair. So every single video, you will see me taking my shampoos down the length of my hair, and this is because curly hair products can be really creamy and oily and buttery and everything that's great at moisturizing our hair. However, when we don't remove them properly, they can build up on our hair and wash after wash, it can prevent moisture from actually entering your hair. However, you wanna make sure you're using a cleanser that does not dry your hair out. And right here, I'm using the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Shampoo. The very first ingredient in this is aloe vera. Instead of the ionized or chemically treated water, it's a natural ingredient like aloe vera, which is super moisturizing. This also doesn't have any silicones or sulfate or surfactants, so my hair was left feeling super soft instead of crunchy and dry. <laughs> My next tip is to detangle in sections and this is really great to make sure that you're gentle with your hair. I like to use these clips. These are my favorite. This one, not so much because it slides out of my hair. But detangling in sections really makes sure that I'm being patient and super gentle with my hair. And also, finger detangling is my best friend. Even if I use a comb, or brush to detangle my hair, I 99% of the time make sure that I detangle with my fingers first. And this just guarantees that I am gentle with my hair when I'm detangling. I do use a comb and a brush afterwards, but I don't usually use it first because it's really easy to rush and rip through the tangles and knots when you're using a brush because most of the time you can't feel it. You may feel a little tension, but you may not know that it's a entire knot in your head so 
I like to finger detangle and once I'm done with the section I detangle, I twist it up and I clip it out of the way. And this just makes sure that my hair stays tangle free. So I move on to the next section and I detangle with my fingers first and then afterwards I like to use my brush. Make sure that I get all of the smaller tangles and also it helps to remove the shed hair from my hair. Sometimes my fingers doesn't fully take out the shed hair. So yeah, I like to do that. <laughs> So once I'm done, I remove all of the twists from my hair and my hair feels so soft and tangle free. And for the next step, I deep condition my hair. Well, actually I rinse the conditioner out and then I deep condition it. And deep conditioning is something that I did not do for like the first eight years of being natural. I recently got into it and especially now that my hair is bleached it can get dry 10 times faster. So it is so essential for me to deep condition my hair if I want to keep it healthy. So right here, I'm using the Maui Moisture Smooth and Repair Vanilla Bean Hair Butter. And I massage this all throughout my hair and it smells absolutely amazing, guys. Oh my gosh. So make sure you check out the description box for all of the Maui Moisture products that I mentioned in this video. They do have vegan formulas. There's no parabens, no silicones, no sulfated surfactants. And as I mentioned, these products are super affordable, so make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, let me know your feedback on these tips and mention any tips or tricks that you have so that we can all flourish in our natural hair. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And again, I really appreciate you being here and watching this video because it took a while for me to create it. So I always appreciate the fact that you guys watch it, especially if you're watching this right now watching me till the end let me just give you a big virtual hug <laughs> again thank you for joining me today and bye and i'd like to say thank you again to my moisture for sponsoring this video